Aloha. Thank you for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Donald Trump is so odious that we actually hate to mention his name, but let's take a moment and examine what he has done to this country and his current prospects in repeating those things, now and in 2024. To start, we need to point out that he has been the worst president, by far, in the history of the country. If that's too conclusory, let's break it down. He has been openly corrupt and has stolen millions from the American people by grifting his base, by redirecting campaign contributions for his personal use, by funneling huge amounts of taxpayer money to himself through his hotel properties, in violation of the emoluments clause. But it certainly doesn't end there. Our democracy depends on demanding truth and rejecting lies from all officials and all media, and to act constructively and with purpose to achieve truth and reliable information about our community, our country, and global affairs. Lies and hate destroy democracy, and that should be clear from history. But Trump really doesn't care. Trump has lied to us thousands of times. Sadly, there are those who still believe him. He has lied and encouraged others to lie about everything that serves his interest, from the size of the crowd at his inauguration, to the way to handle Covid, to the events in the Middle East, Europe, Russia and Ukraine, and to the big lie on the 2020 election, and everything in between. These lies are corrupt, and corrupting, they lead to violence, hatred, and bigotry, and they are visibly dangerous to the country and to us all. He has appointed acolyte officials who were not competent. He has intimidated those around him to perform acts that were not legal. He has inappropriately demanded absolute loyalty from them and has asked them to do things for his sole benefit and in violation of law. Using the power of his office, he has terminated and punished officials who have refused to accede to his demands. These corrupt acts have defined his time in office, from the beginning to the end. And don't forget his many crimes. They include political deals with Putin, revealing classified information, holding back funds for Ukraine, obstructing justice throughout his term of office, violating voting laws all over the country, organizing the January 6 insurrection, and stealing secret documents from the White House. We can only hope that he will be indicted and tried for the most recent of these crimes. There is probably much more that will come out in the future, and we will be even further outraged when it does. While Trump has lost some influence in the Republican Party because of the failure of his candidates in the 2022 midterms, he is still active and running, and may still be able to restore his power for the 2024 elections. We hope he finds that he can't, and that he loses by a large margin in that election. If he wins, or even comes close enough to lie about it, it is clear that he will be much worse the second time, and will wreck the government, the country, and very possibly the world. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Aloha.